hi it's Megan um, and I have a video that I'm going to I don't know hope works this time so I I shot this video earlier this week and it was a like a comedy of errors everything went haywire and then I watched the actual video itself and the microphone was off so we're starting from scratch and I'm trying to be very zen about it which is not my natural personality so I have all of the Pat McGrath Labs Blitz Trans lipsticks, the new ones. I don't have the old ones. Um, this was kind of one of those, I wanted the old ones so badly and I thought, mm, they're not practical and I'm not gonna wear them. They're too glittery, they're too shimmery. It's not like an everyday thing for me. And so I skipped them and I would go to Sephora and I would swatch them and think, mm, they're so pretty and all but one were kind of glittery. And then I read this new set wasn't quite so, I don't know, over the top, and I thought, okay, let's just go for it. And I typically don't buy every color in a collection. It's really, I can't remember the last time I did it. Um, like, literally, I cannot remember. But this time, Pat McGrath, I did. And for the most part, I'm really happy with them. I'm gonna do um, lip swatches for every single one, but first I'm gonna talk about them a little bit um, and uh, tell you what I think. I don't know, I then saw, I'm like veering all over the place in this video, it's like I said, I've been through this once before. Um, I then saw that Charlotte Tilbury came out with like this brand new beautiful collection of, of lipsticks that are super practical, like wearable, and I was like, mm, maybe I should have gone that route, but I didn't, I did this. So these are $38 for 0.13 ounce, so lipsticks average 0 0.11, 0 0.12, 0 0.13 is a little generous, so that's good. Um, and Pat McGrath, to me, has some of the best, most amazing shades and formulas. I had some issues with Pat McGrath when they first launched because, A, I thought the packaging was, like, not good for the price. Yes, I did turn the microphone on. That would be just, like, the killer. Um, I thought that the packaging wasn't really worthy of the price point and then Pat McGrath fixed that. And then I also felt like some of the makeup was a little editorial. And so you'll see as I go through this that some of these I think are a lot more wearable and some veer into that editorial. And by the way, the distraction on my side and the purr is a cat who's decided not to appear behind me but is right next to me and she's incredibly loud. She's very happy right now. Um, and so there are, I mean, how many shades? I think nine, right? One, two. Yeah, there are nine shades, and the one I have on right now is 131 Full Fantasy. So overall, what do I think? Overall, um, I have this like, first of all, I love the packaging, so let's do that first. I love this packaging. I just, I think it's so amazing. And that's part of the reason I think why I got all of them. When these first came out with this gold glitter thing, I was like, okay, that just, somehow that has to be mine. And like I said, I skipped the first go round, but this time, I'm. I went full into it. And then you get this, you get the typical bill up. Mine's are, oh, mine are always a mess. Um, so the packaging is gorgeous. The other thing that's kind of interesting to me about Pat McGrath's lipsticks, and it's why I've kind of gone, been willing to go more in with Pat McGrath, um, I feel like they just have this amazing coverage on my lips and they make my lips look so like full and rich and beautiful and wonderful and amazing. And every single one of these but one does that. And I don't know how Pat does it. I guess maybe starting a makeup brand as a makeup artist, you kind of know what works and what doesn't. But I just feel like my looks, my lips look so much better when I use her makeup. Lipstick makeup. Um, and I felt like mostly that was the case with these, um, really like full coverage. And then with the sheen, um, I cannot do anything that's too cool toned. And so sometimes like frosty lipsticks in particular are awful on me. They just come across as way too cool and my top lip disappears, which doesn't happen with no lipstick and doesn't happen with most lipstick, but there are some formulas um, where it's just like, I have no top lip and I don't know where it went. And that doesn't happen with these, which can happen with kind of frostier shades. Um, when I was growing up, my mom and my aunt had this like super cool undertone to their skin. And Estee Lauder, I think, still, but less so now. But historically, Estee Lauder was really great for that type of coloring. And every makeup item that my mom and my aunt had was awful on me because I can't wear the super 
extremes. I'm like neutral undertoned. And so I can't wear like the super warm or the super cool. I can wear everything in between. And the frosty lipsticks were big when I was growing up and my mom had a bunch of them and they were a disaster on me. These are not a disaster on me. I really like them. So A, you have a little bit more of kind of a satin base for that like shimmer, glimmer, frostiness, um, which really works so much better. Next of all, I feel like a lot of the um, shimmery, glimmery, whatever in these lipsticks uh, is a little bit warmer. It's not super cool, so that also works for me better. Uh, what else did I want to say before I headed in? They wear incredibly well. Um, I, I can feel in some of them a little bit of like a glittery thing, like a little like roughness when I apply them, but they don't wear that way. They wear, for me, about two plus hours. And I always say on these videos, I don't get these people who say something lasts like for five hours and it's perfect. If I get two hours, that's great. I'm just blown away. To me, that's a great formula. So for all of you who can put your lipstick on and it's perfect five hours later, God bless, that is not me. Um, but these wear beautifully. They don't wear away unevenly, which I was worried about, that like there'd be like little glitter on my lips, but no color, that does not happen. And um, I love all but one. We will get into the individual ones, and then I'll tell you which ones I think, eh, veer into the editorial. So the one I have run, what else did I say? I said subtle glitter, um, more low key than the last batch of this type of lipstick. For the most part, they have a satin undertone, glossy, um, smooth, very pigmented, and the spark a little bit warm. See, I take the notes before, and I've got like two pages here of stuff, and then I sit here and talk about things that are just not on my notes, and then I'm like, wow, that was a really good point I had. Why didn't I actually say that? Um, okay, so number 131, that's what's on my lips right now, and I'm actually going to take it off, and then I'm going to reapply it and show you what you think. And I used to, like cut the camera and then put the lipstick on and all of that um, but I found that it really helps because I got quite pigmented lips that uh, people can see how it applies on me and then it's just easier to keep the camera running and I don't think it makes that, different, that big a difference okay so this right here is full fantasy 131 here it is all right swatched I actually have a mirror, but right now we're just doing the side little camera. Actually, I might, you know, I might stop the camera and zoom it in a little bit. Let me tell you what I think, and then I'm going to stop the camera and zoom it in a little bit so you can see the lipsticks a little bit better. So this, I said, was a pinky peach with gold sheen. Um, this is kind of like an everyday shade for me. It's super easy to wear. Um, what else did I put here? I know I keep looking... It's like a medium pink and it's slightly warm and then it has kind of a barely there gold kind of pearl. This one right here is much less kind of shimmery, it's more like a nat normal lipstick. Um, I didn't really feel that um, it, this is not one that has kind of more of that feel of the shimmer and glimmer. This is one a little bit more subtle. So I'm going to stop the camera, zoom in a little bit more, and then I'm not going to take this off until after. So just a second. Okay, we're zoomed in a little bit more. Now you can see the lip and see how pretty it is. It's just, I, this is one of my favorites actually. This is like an everyday. It's got a little bit of an extra oomph, but it's not over the top. It's, it's not super shimmery. It's so pretty. So this right here, one of my favorites. Um, the next one is Naked Kiss. I thought this one was tough to wear, more glittery. It's like a peachy gold. Um, this is my least favorite. It's definitely got warmer undertones, and it's kind of a medium pinky peach. Uh, but I thought, I thought that this one was the only one of the whole bunch that made kind of my top lip disappear. So let's show it. It's a pretty shade. I feel like this shade would be great. Uh... Just leaving you hanging by stopping midpoint. I think this would be really great on someone with really cooler undertones and lighter coloring. I, like for me, that would be see you can see how much 
peachier it is and also it's just much less of a color and you can see that it's also got more of that frostiness to it it's not that it's not pretty as I'm looking down the side when I look to the side and I'm like not staring into the camera it's because I'm looking at the the, the image on the side the playback whatever it's called and uh, it looks to me it looks better on camera than it looks off that's why I was kind of staring off in the distance so I actually like it better here than it plays on me otherwise. Um, okay, so now we're gonna go to 133. And so you'll see how I feel. I'm a little less happy with the first end of the spectrum than I am later. So Emmanuel is a gorgeous color. Let's start with that as I said something negative about it. Um, it is uh, more editorial. It's like a strawberry undertone, strawberry pink um, with kind of gold in it. And this one for me, I'm just trying to figure out where it is here. Uh, it's definitely got that metallic, frosty kind of thing going on. And so it's still opaque and it's got a great amount of color. Um, but mm, I wouldn't wear this on an everyday basis. I mean, I have because when I say I don't like the editorial stuff that Pat does, I actually, I love it. Um, and I would wear it on a daily basis. I just think that most people won't. And that's why I kind of criticize. So here it is. Ah, I don't think we got all the last one off. Which is important. Because that last one... I know it's so slick and smooth. See, it's like a really beautiful strawberry, but then because it's got that gold in it, it has like an almost coral look to it. So, so, so pretty. Not something most people would want to wear every day, in my opinion. Not that it's bad, it's just... Okay, Lady Stardust 134. So here I said, um, this is more pink than 136, which is going to be two from now, but it's really similar. So when we're talking about, like I was reading some early things, whatever, uh, early writings on the internet about this whole collection, and people were saying, wow, there's a lot of things that look like they're almost the same color, or they're different undertones. And yes, there are different undertones, there are different levels of frost, um, glitter, whatever you want to call it, and, um, and so... Is that a good thing? Yeah, I, you know, I think it is. Because um, then you can find the one that really works for you. So this one, again, we're having gold pearl in a pink, um, but it's going to be, did I say less pink or more pink? It's more pink than 136, but very similar. Okay, so here we go. And so these are going to be a little bit less peachy than the first one, 131. They're a little bit more pink. So here we go. So you can see, if we start here, we've got more of like a I guess that's more of a dusty rose, but it, I can also see a little bit of a kind of an earthy undertone to that. And here we've got just clearly a super pink shade going on. I'm going to clean off my wrist in a second. Uh, no, I'm not going to clean off my wrist. I think I'm going to do a line above it. I think there's room. Uh, and then we'll do that. Okay, here we go. See? Super pink. If this is what you're looking for, if this is kind of, it's not matching my blush at all. Oh my gosh, I thought I did a neutral blush, but no, this one clearly shows I did not. Okay, number 135, Skin Flicks. What did I say about this one? I said salmon with gold in it. So this one's going to be not coral, not pink. Not peach, but salmon, and we can't open this one, so until we are able to open it. And it's also got um, a little kind of plum or purplish. This one is more subtle than some of the others, and um, like all of them, you can see they're all just super creamy, they apply beautifully, There's it's all even, there's like nothing bad you can say about kind of the basic lipstick itself. So we're gonna actually, let's do it up here. So I did that one, does that work? Yeah, right up there. It's gonna be our second line. <sighs> Lots of lipstick. There we go. That's so pretty. Oh my gosh, that one's so pretty. 
I really... When you see my eyes start going to the side, it's because I'm like, wow, that is such a pretty color. I This is such a pretty color. I really like this one. Um, 136. This is another one of my favorites. This one I thought is like rose colored, and I love rose colored lipsticks. I was reading someone online saying that like every one of their favorite lipsticks had rose in the title, and I'm kind of almost guilty of that. I really like rose. This one has, again, that gold in it. And um, it's got a touch of a nude feel. This is a great every day for me. So did I say the name? 136, let's see, Skin Sane. And it's a little bit um, more subtle with that pearl shimmer. I don't know, is it, is it a pearl or is it a shimmer? I think it's both. Kind of a frostiness. So here it is. And again, I'm leaving these all on because as I thought about it, I'm like, well, you want to see kind of, so we're now on that second line. So you can see it's a little bit less dark than the first and a little bit less kind of that nude. We're going to have some problems, aren't we? Anyway, we'll see. See, another one of my favorites. This is one that, oh, I like this one so much. So you can see they're slightly different. Again, we pull them all up, and you can see there's a slight undertone to each and every one of them. Really pretty. And let's see, we've got three more. So now um, 137 Blood Rush. What I said about this one, I said it looks cherry red on, but it looks pinky fuchsia when you open it up and uh, look at it. Let's see, where is it? I have another set of notes which are in a different order. Um, ruby red, ruby red pearl, and it's a subtle. Um, this is a good one. This one, this is a good one. I haven't, I've worn these, so I shot the first video earlier this week, and um, I'll do the swatch in a second. And I, well, I'll do the swatch now since I'm talking. Um, I was then, because it didn't work out, I was wearing these all week. Look at that color. And I was, this was the only one I haven't worn all week. God, they're so creamy. I just apply it. It's like this flawless, amazing application. It's just so impressive. So this one is the only one, because I was at work. And again, my eyes are veering off to the side, which tells you I'm looking at it and going, wow, that is so pretty. That is such a pretty, look at that pretty that is it's such a pretty color I just I felt like this one was a little much for work it's just so like whoa wow that in a good way not in a bad way not like oh my gosh that's just too much it's just so pretty and uh, I don't know I'm a tax lawyer so I just decided it wasn't maybe the best tax lawyer-ish okay we're now at flesh three and uh, I have to read my notes on this one so this is kind of a brown red, I put something else, plum brown red, more visible sparkles, golden bronze. So this looks to me on like one of those lipsticks that you put in those summer collections where everything's bronzy and sparkly and everything. Um, I want to read my other set of notes on this one. It's got a certain, yeah, it does have a plum, warm undertones, gold and copper pearl, and it's, again, even though these have this pearl and shimmer and whatever else, there's still every single one across the board applies evenly, which can be a problem with kind of glittery, shimmery lipsticks. So we're gonna do the swatch first. There we have it. You can see it's kind of a bronzy, plummy, with a slight reddish to it. Um, I don't love this one on me, uh, to be honest. Ooh, slight staining, look at that. So yeah, we're, like I said, this is the only one I haven't worn all week. And we definitely saw a little slight staining. And now I've got another cat. Oh, we've got Mo coming to join us. If we didn't have one cat, we now have two. Um, Mo loves being on camera, by the way. So there. Again, applies really evenly. I just, I don't love this one on me. I think... It's a little harsh. It's a little too metallic. It's a little too browny, plum. It's just, it's pretty. It's a really pretty shade. And for someone with the right complexion, it's like one on each side right now. I'm feeling stocked, like totally stocked. So it's not that it's not a it's not a good color. It's just maybe not of the rest of them because they're all so pretty. Maybe not my ideal shade. 
Now we've got the last one. And my foundation is starting to be a mess around my lips. Okay. Sometimes I have a brush with foundation on it in my little kit below me, but not today. All right, so this is one of my favorites. I love this one. So this is 139 Love Train. We're going to put it on, then we're going to swatch it, and then we're going to talk about it. Because I want to keep this one on longer because it's so pretty. Um, and there he goes. Again, making sure that you don't pay attention to the pretty lipstick, you pay attention to the pretty boy cat. Um, there he is. Oh, we can only see his body. Um, so this was the second one I wore. I put on like 136 first, and I was like, wow, this is so great. And then I put this one on, and I thought, wow, this one is just utterly stunning. So what did I say about this one? I said, love train, it's like a red gold. Wow, stunning. Okay, that's really a bad description. Let's see if I did better elsewhere. Um, it's, like, it's a plummy red. And it has gold under and red pearl. So this one is a little bit more metallic than some of the others. But the darker color I think handles it really well. And um, I just I just I'm staring off again. You get like I said, you can tell which ones I like because I don't look at the camera, I'm off looking at the side. I just love this one. I just think it's so, so stunning and gorgeous and like like I told you, my description was wow stunning, which is not the best description, but I think it describes the lipstick just fine. Um, so just before I end, I'm going to do a couple of other little fun things just because, I don't know, I haven't been shooting a lot of videos lately and so we're just going to add some fun stuff. I am loving the Rihanna bronzer brush. Um, loving, loving, loving. I just think this is the greatest thing ever. Mine's dirty because while I wash all my eye brushes, after I use them. I do not always wash my face brushes after I use them. Then next of all, um, oh, I think that's it. I think that's it. I think that's enough of a video. Um, we'll do, we'll do another video soon. Anyway, if anyone gets these, uh, I would love to hear your thoughts. Um, oh, we didn't swatch the last one. I just saw that on my wrist. So let's do it because I love it so much. If anyone has thoughts about what colors they really love or did not love, we're going to do this right here on my wrist. Look at that. It's like a wine color. Look how pretty that is. So there they all are. Um, thoughts on the colors, the shades, the glitter, the shimmer, whether you like it or not. Um, I would love to hear it. And thanks for watching. Please subscribe because it does matter. It does matter to me. So I would appreciate it if you do it. Thanks. Bye-bye.